Hello everybody, I am back with another Five Nights at Freddy's plus review. I finally got all the security breach plushies. It took me about a month to collect them all. Um, most of the time it's just time for shipping and stuff. So I'm going to review all five of them. I picked up the last one today. Well, I didn't pick it up. Um, it was delivered today. So I'm going to do it in order I got them. So first of all, I just want to say... These plushies are all real, they're all Funko and all that. So, first up we have Glamrock Chica. Now, I will link in the description below um, where you can buy these. They're on Amazon, um, so I'll, I'll put a link in the description down below um, for you to check them out. And um, I made a video in the future on how to make sure that the, fun that the FNAF plush you are ordering is authentic and not fake. So, yeah, I'll do that to help you guys out if you need anything. So... First off, we have Glamrock Chica. Now, I have one thing to complain about all the plushies, and this applies to everyone in the every plushie in this video. The material is strange, but I oddly like it. Um, it's very scratchy, and it can pick up little bits of fluff very easily. Um, especially on plushies that are white, you can see the bits of grey black fluff. You probably can't on mine if it focuses a little bit, maybe. You may be able to see it. I don't know if you saw it. Let me know if you did. Yeah, you see that little black spots there. I've had this for about, what, two or three weeks. Um, and it's already gathered a lot of dust, so I may need to dab it with a sponge or something. Um, but overall, I think I have a perfectly symmetrical one that's exactly to the actual official figure uh, picture. You can see black stuff there. So yeah, this Glamour Chica, very nice. Looks like the character. Um, got the nice little feetsies here. Nice material there. Um, overall good plush. To improve it, they probably could have added this little thing here to the other side. Because Glamour Chica has it on the other side, I'm pretty sure. And the earrings as well could have been a nice touch. But yeah, overall nice plushie. Um, printing on colour. There's a lot of printing on colour in all of these plushes, but yeah, not too bad, not too shabby of a plush. Probably, I'd say, the best one in the line in terms of accuracy to the character. Alright, next up we have Vanny. By far the worst one in the, in the, um, in the, in the, in the wave. I got these two together. I ordered them at the same time, but she could, became, came before Vanny, so yeah. Um, I like Vanny's little bow tie. I don't even know if she has a bow tie. Um, she probably does. Um, yeah, this one doesn't seem to have picked up as much dirt and fluff over the weeks I've had it. But yeah, it doesn't really look like the actual Vanny. Um, they could have added Vanny's little whiskers. I think it's a bit lame they didn't add that. Um, yeah, all around very inaccurate plush and seems very lazy. I like the ears though, the ears are cool and I like how they did the different things. But yeah, they could have done way better with this. But um, it's cute, I guess. So yeah. And we got a decent looking one as well, it wasn't all deformed. Um, so yeah, I'm moving them over. So next up we have, oh god, Fanny's falling over. Stay. Montgomery Gator. Um, I got this, I've had this for like a week, week and a half now. Um, yeah, Monty, it's alright. I feel like they could have done a lot better with this. So my first complaint is, obviously the the, the material isn't as bad because it, it doesn't pick up as much dirt. Well, it probably does, but you can't really see it that well. Um, it's this thing here. Like, what? It's part of his... This this, this thing should be this colour here. And this pattern, but it's just, it's just green. Monty, what's, what's wrong, buddy? And also... I feel like the eyes could have been 3D, and they could have added the uh, little spiky things on his hand. I mean, they they can only do so much. I also think they could have probably added the mohawk a bit thicker. I don't even think his mohawk's orange. I'm pretty sure it's red. Um, but don't quote me on that. I like how they did the belt. Again, could have done it 3D, make it pop out a bit. Overall, an alright plush. Looking at it from this way, it's, it's, it's perfectly fine. But if you're looking at it from the back or... When it's facing that way, which probably in most cases you're not. <laughs> um, yeah, not the best. I don't know what this is. That makes no sense. Um, so yeah, it's an alright plush apart from that. And yeah, it's alright. I, I, I'm definitely happy with my purchase. So next up we have my favourite of the wave, Glamrock Freddy. 
he's my favourite animatronic of all time. Not because I recently just got into FNAF. I've been into FNAF for years now. Okay. Scroll down, scroll down, you'll see I've had FNAF plushies for like years now. Um Yeah. Glamrock Freddy. These are also I forgot to mention at the start. These are the original ones. I know they were re-released in America, but I live in the UK, so unfortunately I wasn't able to get the re-release ones. But personally, of the photos I've seen of the re-release ones, these ones look way better than the other ones. Uh, the ones that I've seen with the normal soft felt, they're all like deformed and weird. But yeah. Uh they could have made the bow tie 3D. I know they did in the re-release, but yeah. Um they missed out a lot on Glamrock Freddy. Um first of all, he should have little spikes of his cheeks. That's part of this. Same on this side as well. He should have a little blue thing um below his bottom lip. And he should also have blue wrapped around his um I will say his hat. He should have a little earring here, but Funko always misses out on little details like that, so that's that's fine. And maybe the little spiky bracelet things he could he wears that probably could have been added as well. Um, apart from that, you know, nothing too bad. Um, yeah, happy my purchase. I'm also gonna tell you how much each one costs. So, eighteen pounds. Twenty-three pounds, forty pounds, expensive little little bugger, and twenty-five pounds. Um, my sister also helped buy these, so we put equal amounts of money into them. Um, the price will vary. Monty is now twenty, I'm pretty sure, thirty, something like that. The prices vary. Like once Freddy was fifty, and then like a day after he was twenty. Um, they're definitely real, as you can see. <laughs> so. Roxanne is the last plush we have of today. Um, uh, I don't know. It's okay. A lot of stuff... You can definitely tell it's Roxanne, but there's just definitely a lot of stuff Funko missed out. First of all, what is this? Like, what... A, a five-year-old could have done that. Like, cut it out and just stuck it on. It could have been bigger or at least a little bit, little bit thicker. They could have made the hair... The, look, the hair flaps up and down. It just looks like a big chunk of felt that I probably I probably could have made this blush. Um, they've got the very obvious black lines on her cheeks. Um, that's literally like missing out Freddy's blue thing up there on his eyes. Um, I don't know why they didn't put that in. Apart from that, I think the body's pretty good. I like the material they use for the arms and legs. I really love that material. Apart from apart from all those details, it's an alright plush. Um, pretty cute. And um yeah, she may have earrings, I'm I'm not entirely sure. And those little bracelet things, because she does have them on her belt, so I'm I'm assuming she has them on her arms. But yeah, don't quote me on that. But yeah, overall an alright plush. And she was like twenty three, twenty four pounds. Twenty three. No, might have been twenty two. I don't know. Um so yeah guys, that is the Five Nights at Freddy's Security Beach prank for Funko plush line. If I was to re if I was to order them from worst to best, I'd probably go Vanny, Roxanne, Monty, Freddy, Chica. Actually, maybe switch these two around. Because I feel like Monty could have been... Uh, Freddy could have been a lot better. Because they missed out a lot of stuff on Freddy. So, yeah, from being worst to best in terms of accuracy to the actual character, Chica's definitely... I just feel like Chica just looks the, looks the best out of all of them. Um, but Freddy's still my favourite, because he's my favourite animatronic, and I just love him so much. Anyways, so guys, that is going to be uh, the end of this review. Hope you liked it. Um, I've also seen the new merch that's been revealed. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Definitely going to be getting that. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.